well, it's generally not a good sign when your combine's backed into the shed that it don't fit in because it's too tall. But uh, yesterday we had a couple exciting experiences and I'm going to start by showing you the one up here. Had a little smoldering fire up on top of the oil filter up there. Right there. Built up dust on top of that and touched the exhaust manifold and it was smoldering. I caught it right away and it wasn't a big deal. Got it put out. Just used my pop. I actually got my pop on it. I was scared if I used my uh, fire extinguisher it'd blow, blow the ashes all over so I just dumped pop on it and got it put out. Made a mess but got it put out. So then I went home and got our 1500 gallon water tank. So we pulled behind the pickup with the gas pump on it and I decided well we're gonna wash the whole machine off. The engine compartment and everything. So had that and I had oh I don't know five six hundred gallons of water left when I got done and I just left it in the field. I was gonna dump it last night when I got done and uh you know I'm lucky I had that water tank that's field there. I got I got the combine in yesterday again after I washed the whole combine off and um, got to the other end of the field. I could smell smoke. Um, field half mile long and I got out and this whole rear axle is on fire back here. You can see these grease lines are charred up. I think they're okay though. And you can see this was on fire. Burn that up. Um, I don't think there's any major damage, it's just charred stuff, I guess. So anyhow, that was exciting. I used my fire extinguisher. Um, it is this whole, everything was on fire back here. I got it smoldered out enough. Um, I took the spinner off the back here and realized that the inside of the combine was on fire. There's a fire right up in that corner. So that corner and that corner just build up with debris. There's a void there. And that's where stuff builds up on these combines. Well, that's what happened. The bearing over there went out and then there was a fire. It started a fire inside. Then I was going through the field. There was uh, throwing flame and smoke out the back. And then my spinners were spreading it out. And uh, it wasn't good. I'll show you that bearing on the side there. And then I'm gonna crawl up in the combine and show you guys the damage the chopper done to itself. You see right there is the bearing that's out. So hopefully we can get that kind of put back together today. But that's not a huge deal, that's not bad. This inside here is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> I threw this wood in here so I could lay on top of the sieves and not get all dirty, but here we go. The chopper, straw chopper destroyed itself. I'm gonna try to get them bent back down good enough and get them welded together and stuff, but it's gonna be a little while. No one has that pan available, so I guess we're gonna deal with what we got. And I'm gonna replace all these knives. They got dinged up pretty good. Some of them got really bad, so I'm scared my rotor would be off balance if I don't replace them. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace them. And I guess we'll go from there. I'll kind of show you guys progress maybe as I go. And, and uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching for now. All right, well, here we are making progress. I got all the damage chopper blades out of the chopper and I got all the damage down here repaired. Bent them down, straightened them out. Um, that one right there, right there. I actually had to well, make a new piece for it. That one looks good. Um, so I think we're about ready to start putting it back together. So here's a, just a short update here on how I'm coming along on this. Um, going pretty good so far. Well, alrighty folks, here we are. Setting in the back of the combine yet. And as you can tell, I got all the my stationary knives in. Or actually, my wife done some of that. I took that plate out she done on the outside. I got all the fixing done in between the stationary knives and I got all the knives in my rotor here for the chopper. Now I gotta tighten all these up. They're not tight yet. I just got them in there but I wanted to make sure I didn't have any clearance problems when I got started here so I just wanted to make sure before I tighten everything up that everything turned and spun free because I've got a weld right there that's a little high and some of them plates aren't exactly flat so I just wanted to make sure that 
there wasn't going to be any issues here. This actually spins this away. But that's a mean, mean, mean straw chopping machine in here. So, all right, well, I guess I'll keep on working here. I guess this is where our little incident happened the other day, two days ago. Uh, you can see I just pulled out and went right through the soybeans. I, 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 uh, I'm gonna get out and kind of show you what happened here. Um, I turned around, I went around that tree and I could smell smoke. So uh, I and uh, the guy I was cob mining for was actually riding with me. And he went out to put out the fires that were back there. And this might get windy, so I guess if it's windy, I'll have to do a voiceover. But anyhow, I jumped down and I seen my whole rear axle here was on fire. There's fires all back here behind me. And uh, so I grabbed my, you can see actually there's a little fire right there, you know, from the other day. Um, burned pretty good, but it's all cooled down. Um, but anyhow, yeah, we got that. And I got it kind of put out, but I, I, my fire extinguisher ran out. I just, you know, just kept burning, kept burning. So I had to pick up part with that water tank from earlier. I had it parked. Just so you can see my tracks kind of go that way and I knew it was over there so I just put her in road gear and pulled out and started going through the deal into the water tank and then I washed it off up there. So anyhow we got it fixed. We're going to start combining again today. I'm going to have two machines out here today. Um, might make a video of that later. We'll see. But anyhow we got her fixed and, and it only costs a few dollars to get her going. So we'll uh, talk to you guys later. and. I guess I enjoy your guys' comments, so please keep them up, and we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks, bye.